Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Turning Your Passion into Profit Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I know I certainly did. You know, I was out in the community and, you know, with, um, with people this weekend. And, you know, I have, um, and this is what I'm telling you about following up with your community, whether it's online or, you know, locally. Is very important because out of this follow-up, I got three uh, invitations to speak at these conferences. And matter of fact, one's coming up this um, this Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. And you know, it, it it was just awesome. It was an awesome weekend. And you know, this sad. This is why I tell you, always you know, come from a position of authentic authenticity. Because, you know, you'll all already be prepared. You'll already be prepared is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to rush to be prepared because it's something that will already be inside of you that you can speak from. And, you know, it's just an awesome opportunity. And the thing is, you know, I was invited by men. <laughs> you know, I was invited by men. You know, my audience is women, but I was invited by men. You know, the men are paying attention to. So, you know, uh, turning your passion into profit morning show is for everybody. But, you know, my target audience is men. But I'm not turning down any opportunities. So with that being said, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Gertrude J. Chapman. And I teach women who are not seeing their value. And they're struggling with that. They're, they're not even seeing their work, their self-work. And, you know, these things may cause people to struggle financially. And, you know, that is the root cause, the value and the self-worth. And the struggling financially is, you know, just the result of those things. And I help them through my services as an inspirational book coach. I make it easy for women to generate a monthly revenue from authoring their books and knowing exactly what to include in that book. Because I show them how to maximize their potential. And a lot of times people don't maximize their potential and it saves them time. And it also avoids them making costly mistakes because there's some things that you could do that will cause you to make costly mistakes. And one of them we're gonna talk about today. You know, you know the theme for this month has been productivity how to be productive in writing your book. And the topic that I want to talk about today is how not to be a struggling author. How not to be Okay, let's go back. How not to be a struggling author. Now, how many authors think that they can write one book, okay? You think that you can write one book and it's going to uh, generate hundreds of dollars each month. And they just sit back and listen to the chimes on their phones. Ching, 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 you know? But that doesn't happen, y'all. That does not happen. Authors, I mean, uh, you know, is this something that doesn't happen, Okay. Y'all are, a lot of times I tell people, you're believing a lie. You believe in a lie that, and this is the very reason why you have tons of books, you know, tons of books laying around in your garage or in a trunk of your vehicle. And they're sitting there collecting dust, thinking that, you know, you have a great title to your book and that title is going to sell your book. I want to tell you wrong. That's the wrong way of thinking. How can you think that, you know, you're not supposed to do anything in order to sell your book? How are you going to think that that book is just going to sell itself? You know, on this internet, <laughs> on in these internet streets, okay? And I tell you, I'll I be on these internet streets also, okay? trying to see what's out there and you know i see some things 
on Facebook. I see some things on Instagram and I see some things other places, okay? And people are listening to these sales ploys and they're not understanding what it takes for their book to work for them. You have to allow your book to work for you. Everything is not about glitz and glamour. As you're watching people, even on YouTube, okay? Fooling you into thinking that money will start rolling in once you write your book. It's just gonna, it's just gonna happen. But they never tell you the steps that are necessary that you have to do in order to get those results, okay? They never tell you that. And there are steps that's there. You know, I, I'm telling you, I'm seeing this. And this is why I'm telling you about a lot of times people, when they don't know their value and they don't have, understand their self-worth, you know, they do certain things. I'm seeing women, okay? I'm seeing women. Try, and they're telling people, you know, how to write their book. And they're drawing attention to themselves by dressing scantily and others are twerking, y'all. I've seen this. You know, you pull up the, the it comes across your platform, you pull it up and, and you look and you say, what, in, you know, what's happening there? What is happening? Now, I, and I'm thinking, now you're supposed to be a businesswoman. What kind of message are you sending to your audience? When you're talking about books, but you, you're not really providing any value, but you, you're dressing a certain way and you're doing a certain thing in order to tell people how to write a book. And what are you going to attract? Are people going to really take you seriously? Are they going to take you serious? Or, or they think that, you know, this is just a game. What are you doing? You know, desperate. Desperate because they're not offering any value. So instead, they're drawing attention to their body just to get likes or just to get comments or just to get an audience or whatever it may be. But they're not saying anything. They're talking loud and saying nothing. Okay, talking loud and saying nothing. And, you know, I want to tell you, you're worth much more than that. So stop selling yourself short. And this is something that shouldn't impress you. Okay, because then there are one-sided messages. One-sided messages where the benefits only is for the person who's delivering the message, one-sided, okay? You have to see what benefits you. If you are looking to learn something, simple as that. And stop the wishful thinking that you have to do absolutely nothing to obtain the results you need to reach your goal. You have to be smart, y'all. Qualify the method. Qualify that method. Ask yourself this question. Is this bringing me value? Then what you do, you strategize your plan. Something has to bring you value. You have to strategize your plan because every goal has a plan of action to arrive there. You have to have a plan. So if you're missing value in that plan, I'm going to tell you, it's sensational. It plays on your emotions. So don't fall for, you know, that foolishness. If you want to be, you know, serious about it, don't fall for that. The person has to see for you what you can't see for yourself. And the value that they, they're given it will allow the transformation to happen. That's what it's about, transforming lives. And I'm talking about you. You know, I'm not talking about your audience. Transforming lives. So this is what you need to learn how to do. 
And if you don't learn this, well, you're going to be that struggling author out there, just wading in the pool of piranhas because they're out there. And you know, the closer we get to the holidays, the worse it's going to be. The desperation, you know, turning up for, you know, to get that quick money. Are y'all with me? Are y'all with me? You can't be like this, okay? Don't be like what you're seeing because that's not what it is. Now I want you to come take a deeper dive with me, okay? Your book, and I want you to hear me on this. Your book serves as a gateway to many opportunities. You have value. You have a lot on the inside of you. You have treasures, you have gems, you have a lot on the inside of you. And your book serves as a gateway to many opportunities. It's a writing journey. You're in this for the long haul. Now, let me ask you this question. Are you committed? Are you committed? Because this is not an in and out situation. This is building a foundation for your future with levels and branches. Levels and branches. Now, let me address your audience, okay? Let me address your audience. You're building relationships with your readers on social um, media and in your local community. Don't leave those people out, okay? You have to have balance, okay? You just can't be all social media. And be out here on these platforms and forget about people in your community. You can't do that. Build those relationships. Create a foundation is another thing for people to linger. For people to linger. Let me tell you why that's important. Do y'all remember Books a Million? Now, that was a place I used to love to go to that place, y'all. That had couches and chairs and a coffee station and, you know, I used to go in there to get magazines and books and, you know, just linger around, you know, get a familiar atmosphere, get familiar with the atmosphere. It was such a, a great atmosphere. Okay. And like I said, I just went in there, was going there thinking I was going in there just to go in and out and, you know, used to be in there four and five hour, hours later, I'm coming out with books or magazines, not one, <laughs> but an arm full of them, okay? So this is something that you should consider when you're writing your book. Create an atmosphere for your audience to linger and anxiously await the value that you will be presenting them on a daily basis, okay? And if you looked at, you know, previous of my shows, I, I mentioned this, I talked about this, you know, about, you know, building your foundation of daily value. Now, writing your book is not just about getting royalties, okay? That's not what it's about at all. And if you're thinking that way, you're missing it. You're missing it. And thinking that way, you're leaving money on the table, okay? Writing your book is to touch and change lives. So you allow people to linger in your atmosphere when they're browsing through your value as you provide that to them on a daily basis. That's what it's about. Build the momentum that you need that will launch your book forth. You have to build that momentum, okay? From the foundation, you build that momentum. And you know, that momentum comes from you. That momentum comes from, you, from your passion because your passion has a certain energy about it, okay? And nobody else, nobody else can create that energy and that momentum except you. It's something you have to be passionate about. It's something that has to reflect your expertise, okay? Like I say, it's not a, a quick fix thing, okay? It's something that, that you have to take from the core of you and produce that momentum. It's very important, y'all. 
It's very important. Now, let me get, let me help you with something else, okay? Another important step to, uh, to have is have a CRM, okay? To keep, keep, keep up with your audience because it's in the follow-up. And why am I saying this? Have a CRM? Because social media could go down on you at any time. You remember what it was a month ago or whatever with Facebook and Instagram? Well, it could happen on Twitter and YouTube and TikTok and every other platform. Okay? It could go down. And how are you going to contact your audience? How are you going to contact your audience? It's okay to build on the platform, but have a way in order for them to leave your platform to come into your real estate. Okay? Come into your real estate, something that you that you own. Because the money's in the list. Okay. And that list, you could take that list and you could export it on your computer or on your phone, wherever, your tablet or whatever. And you can upload it to another CRM. But you'll have a way to get in contact with your people, with your audience. Okay. If, so, if the social media went kaput. Okay, we don't know. We don't know. So you don't want to be left out there, you know, in the dark, not knowing how to contact your audience. Always provide value and stay consistent with your audience. And that's vital to your success. If I didn't keep in touch with my audience, you think that I would have been invited to three conferences to speak? That's what I, I, I got recently. One was last week and two was this week. And I told you one is coming up this Saturday. This Saturday. Always stay ready. Never rush to get ready, but always stay ready. And you'll never be a struggling author out there. Okay? Never. You, like I said, your audience is looking for value and something that will benefit them from reading your book. Benefits for your audience. That's what they're looking for. And there's no such thing, y'all, as a get rich quick scheme and not doing anything except laying around, you know, waiting for a royalty check. Okay. If you think about if you think about that statement, does that really make sense? Do you want to just sit around and wait for a royalty check? Number one, it doesn't make sense because you don't control people's thoughts. So how do you know that they're going to buy your book? If you think about that, but many people do that, y'all. Many people do that. Every goal requires a plan. And by following your plan to reach your goal, this is where you meet your success. You meet your success by following that plan. And there has to be a plan in place. You know, the bigger the dream, the more strategic the plan must be in order to obtain that goal. Plans are important. And the bigger your dream. Now, if you're not dreaming big, you can just whatever. But I have big dreams. I have big goals. And that's what you should tell yourself each day. I have big dreams. I have big goals. You have to see greatness for yourself. You have to see that you have value. You have to see that you have something to offer somebody that will change their lives. These, these things are bigger than us, y'all. That's why it takes more than one person. It takes more than one person because this is a big thing. This is a, a big uh, project. That's why it takes collaboration. That's why it takes teamwork. The bigger the dream, the more strategic the plan must be in order to reach that goal. 
And I want to tell you, yes, you could generate a monthly revenue from writing your book, but it's going to take dedication and you working your plan. You got to work your plan. You just can't sit back and think that that book is going to sell itself. That book is opening up doors of opportunities to you. Doors, a gateway. And some of you, I might be talking to you and you have never even written your book yet. You have never written your book yet. Of course, you thought about it. And as you're thinking about it, it may be a result of you struggling. Because you have it in here. Why should you have to struggle when you already have what it takes to get you out of a hole? So who does that fall on? Who does that fall on? You might even need money for your business to expand, but still you haven't written your book. And you have an audience out there that's willing, that have money in hand, willing to buy your book. And you're still sitting back thinking, well, how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to do that. And you already have it. It's time to get intentional. Time to get intentional. Play play is over. Okay? Play play is over. You know, even when you don't feel like it, y'all. Even when you don't feel like it. You might have to, let me tell you, you might have to turn down some things. But what's more important to you? Being about your business and securing your future or enjoying a flee, a fleeing um, afternoon or evening of excitement. What's more important? Okay, what's more important? The choice is yours. So I'm here. I want to let you know I'm here for you. Okay, I believe in you because I believe that I. I don't even have to know you, okay? But I believe in you because I know that you could do it. I know that you could do it. I know you have it in you. Each and every human being has something in them, okay? And like I say, I'm here for you to avoid being that struggling author or avoid being that procrastinator, okay? Avoid being that procrastinator. It's time to get intentional with writing your book. So schedule a free 15-minute discovery call with me by going to bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. Refuse to be that person, okay, who's just sitting around, sitting around waiting for their ship to come in. And you hear people say that, I'm just waiting for my ship to come in. <laughs> well, you keep waiting, okay? Because that ship's not coming in. It requires working your plan. So I hope what I shared with you has brought value to you today. And it's something that stirred up on the inside so you can realize that you have value, that you have work, that you shouldn't be just sitting around waiting for something to happen. But you should make things happen by being intentional and writing your book. So I want to thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to talking to you the next time on Turning Your Passion in the Profit Morning Show. Don't forget to share this broadcast out with your friends. And remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of your day.